Over the past month, I've been traveling all around Bali, Indonesia, from the digital nomad hub of Canggu to the spiritual sanctuary of Ubud, as well as the surrounding islands including Gili T, Gili Air, and Komodo National Park. But in today's vlog, I will be taking you along on my very first day in Uluwatu, a stunning region on the southern tip of Bali. This destination is full of jaw-dropping cliffs, a vibrant surf culture, famous beaches, and world-class sunsets, and I have been dying to visit ever since I arrived here in Bali. So without further ado, welcome to a day in my life here in Uluwatu, Bali. Good morning everyone, it's about 7 a.m. and I am heading to a yoga class. I have not done yoga in way too freaking long, so it's time and I found a cute little studio. I actually heard it a little bit raining this morning. It was super nice and clear yesterday, so I'm praying it stays that way today because I want to explore Uluwatu for the first time and I'm so excited. Is this my scooter? Yeah, this is my scooter. Yoga? Yeah, in our guest area. You want to join today? Yes. So this is a five-star hotel where the yoga is, and it's so stunning. But I think I'm coming up on the building. It's 120000 for a class. was definitely a little bit more than uh, a gentle flow that I'm used to. He was a beast, our instructor. I'm definitely gonna be sore. My hips and my back, so many back bends. <laughs> so we're actually in a really good area right now. There are so many really cute cafes and restaurants and shops around here. And also one of the biggest things I am noticing about Uluwatu is that it's a lot more walkable. I mean, the traffic doesn't even compare to Chengu, but there are actual sidewalks on parts of the streets, which is insane. I actually could walk to where we're gonna go for breakfast, but then I will have to walk back. I don't really feel like doing that. So let's go get some coffee. like completely annihilated this toast and then I spilled it everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to branch out sometimes, but just really just feeling my usual avocado toast, feta, cherry tomatoes, and a poached egg. And then my go-to coffee order has been oatmeal cappuccino with a double shot and it looks so good. Oh yeah. Yeah, this place is really good. My friend told me the food here is amazing, so I had to come check it out. It's definitely super popular, but there's more than enough seats. <laughs> oh my God. Well, the monkeys are definitely cheeky here. <laughs> oh my god. There are so many. They're just crawling all over the roofs. And yeah, one just like came to the restaurant because it was hungry apparently. But now I'm going to go to one of the beaches I have heard so many good things about. It also is a little bit famous. It's in a movie. So we're going to go check that out. I did bring my bathing suit and a towel. So I am prepared. I'm going to go change the bathroom and then head that way. It's only like a five minute drive. <laughs> Okay, so spoiler alert, we're at Padang Padang Beach. I'm so excited. So basically you park your scooter in that like big area and then you have to pay the ticket guy 1,000 to park. And then to get into the actual beach, you have to pay 15,000 if you're an adult foreigner. And now I think we just walk down a really large thing and I think there's monkeys. There's monkeys everywhere. Oh my God, there's babies. I should probably put my camera away. I have my GoPro wrapped around my arm in case the monkeys decide to be extra cheeky. But we're walking through this like cave thing. I'm pretty sure this is like a workout, I've heard. <laughs> okay, I totally lied. I think I'm thinking of Badong Badong Beach or whatever that one's called. Literally, you just walk through the cave and the entrance to the beach is right down here. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm officially at Padang Padang Beach. Apparently this is the best beach for swimming. Although out there, there's a good amount of surfers. I have been really missing the beach since being in Chenggu. The beaches there do not compare to the beaches here. And I love the cliffs. It honestly reminds me a little bit of Playa Cadizalillo in Puerto Escondido, which was one of my favorite beaches. But yeah, the water temperature is so perfect. And fun fact, this was actually where a scene in Eat, Pray, Love was filmed. Most of Eat, Pray, Love with Julia Roberts was filmed in Ubud, but the beach scenes were filmed here in Uluwatu, specifically at this beach. So I think that's pretty cool. so cute I'm obsessed with everything it is expensive but I, I may or may not be trying some shorts on so I'm at drifters I have heard so many things about this place they have a really cute shop inside I already went in there and may or may not have spent a good amount of money <laughs> and I was gonna say that the menu was kind of expensive but this is the biggest smoothie bowl I think I've ever had in my life and I asked for a side of the accountants and this is how much they gave me <laughs> can't complain but I'm honestly taking myself that I didn't come to Uluwatu sooner. I love it here so much. Like, in my opinion, it doesn't even really compare to Chenggu. But I think I'm gonna do a whole video comparing Uluwatu to Chenggu next. So, like this video if you are interested in that. But I'm gonna enjoy this lovely smoothie bowl. Okay, it has been a few hours. I've freshened up, took a shower, got ready. I'm gonna go to this kind of uh, cliffside drink spot. I don't know, like a really pretty spot to watch the sunset basically with this girl that I met on the beach today. I was meeting so many people today. It was so much fun. But yeah, I met this other guy at the beach. He's going to the same place. So maybe we will all run into each other and have a lovely time. But before that, I wanted to give you a quick tour of where I am staying. I am staying at Wooden Puri, it's an Airbnb and it's about 15 20 minutes inland and I absolutely love it it's really nice it has everything I need so I'll show you around my room real quick all right so we have this little front porch set up here which is nice and this is the view from my front porch love it so come in it's kind of this a-frame style room we've got a looks like a queen size bed the bed is decently comfortable there is an ac unit up there very important we've got a wardrobe here they provided a decent amount of hangers which i love lots of shelves to store my things got a desk here <laughs> bit of a mess with all of my tech but yeah nice to have a desk the wi-fi here is pretty good and then coming into the bathroom here. It's a bit open aired, so I've seen quite a few geckos in here, which is totally fine. Sink, we've got a little cabinet thing here and a drying rack. And yeah, they actually provided a bit of soap, which was nice. The shower gets hot. It's a little hot cold, but it works. And then the common area outside, there is a very basic kitchen, really not a place to do much cooking. Um, there is a microwave and a fridge to store your stuff and clean drinking water, of course. And then there's a pool area with a couple lounge chairs and an area to kind of sit and hang out. And then just a few other rooms, obviously, but there's only a few rooms here. So it is like a very small group and it's always very nice and chill it's obviously so beautiful and lush outside so I really like it a lot I'd say the only thing I don't love about this Airbnb is you need earplugs and I am like so bad about I don't like wearing earplugs at all when I go to sleep so I just put my sweatshirt over my ear because we're in like a neighborhood and the walls are extremely thin so you hear everything at night and very early in the morning dogs barking kids running around and screaming but yeah i'm in a neighborhood so that's to be expected okay but now i'm going to head to the beach it's going to be about a 15 minute drive for the sunset it obviously gets very crowded and it's kind of the place to be around 5 6 p.m this time the sun sets at about 6 8 p.m so i am shooting to be at my friend her name is maddie soul and i'm going to be at her hotel around hopefully by five maybe a little bit earlier and we're going to walk to the beach club that we're going to so let's go <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's 
That's so good. I love that we just met on the beach like two hours ago. <laughs> and now we're here. And drinking, uh, how was it called? Uh, uh, passion fruit. Passion fruit something, something with vodka. Yeah. And we love it. And the view is nice. It was so great. Is yeah, can't complain. <laughs> Okay, wow, yesterday was probably one of my favorite days I've had in Bali. It was so simple, but really just, I feel so in my element here in Uluwatu. And like I said yesterday, kind of kicking myself that I waited this long to come. It's easy to get caught up in Chenggu and the hustle and bustle and kind of meeting people and networking and all of that but I am so happy that I'm here now and I'm really gonna make the most of my time while I'm here. That's the thing with Bali is it's a lot bigger of an island than I really was expecting when I came here and every part of the island is so incredibly different. So there's a lot of things that you really need to think about and kind of reflect on your own personal preferences before you choose which part of Bali you wanna come to because like I said, they're all super, super different and diverse. So I think I'm gonna make another video, like this video if you're interested interested in this, um, basically comparing Chenggu and Uluwatu because they're just super different and I've obviously spent a few weeks in Chenggu so I definitely have a really good sense of what the vibe is like there and who it might be best for whereas me I definitely feel a lot better here in Uluwatu and yeah in the next video I'll really dive into the specifics of you know what you need to sort of think about before coming here so yeah like this video if you're interested in that and make sure to subscribe I have a bunch of videos in Bali and around in different parts of Indonesia as well so yeah make sure you go check those out and thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!